Oh, hello, everybody. How are you doing today? This is Etho, and we are at our library project again. We're going to work on this just a bit to start off uh, today's episode. Uh, last episode, we got this door wired. Very nice, very nice. That will lead into the library itself. And now, up here, I started laying out a patio area, sort of. Kind of, maybe. <laughs> um... We're going to get some chairs and some tables up here, maybe some umbrellas over the tables. We'll see how much space we have. Uh, and you might be thinking, what kind of library <laughs> has a patio in it? And uh, I don't have a good answer for you. Well, what I'm kind of what I kind of want to do here is bridge the line between library and restaurant almost. Uh, here in Canada, we have these bookstores. They, they're called Chapters. They're it's a big franchise or something. Um, I've only been there to to them a few times. But in Chapters stores, they have a Starbucks, which is like a a coffee shop, as I'm sure you know. But you know, some of my viewers are not from this part of the world, <laughs> so maybe they don't know. Uh, yeah, they have a coffee shop in them, and sometimes I think they sell like cookies and other snacks too, and uh, there's a gift store. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing here. I'm having fun with that idea. We're going to have a villager up here selling cookies or something. And we'll have tables to sit at and enjoy the cloudy weather. <laughs> Where's the sun? Oh, it's setting. Uh, come out here during the day and bask in the sun as we read our books or whatever. That's that's the idea with this. And we have our our railing here to hold us hold this in place. I added in this window. It has a nice curve to it. Um, and from this we'll be able to look down into the library itself and see uh, the books and whatnot down there once we get that built. The question I'm having now is how much bigger should I make this? Should I, should I make you go up some stairs and then have another area up over here on top of this? this corner piece or what um, or should I put a roof on this corner piece I'm not sure how to end the building or how to top it off uh, from down here ooh, <laughs> it's dark it's really dark isn't it I'm having trouble with lighting my my building because I don't know there's I don't like torches in this game too much, but I think we'll have to use them on this on this build. Um, I did have some glowstone in that hidden in here, but there's only so many places you can hide that stuff before you run into trouble, especially on big builds where you have a lot of area and not too many places to hide it. Um, maybe what we'll do, I'm going to try put s some stone slabs on top of the corner there. And see what that looks like. Let's see if it'll highlight things like this. I still want to have that library sign out on the front. I measured it out, and it actually goes from. Actually, I can show you. If I do the three by three letters, it goes from there to there. I is what I counted. That looks kind of cool. Okay, we'll do that. Then maybe we will try to put some... S well, I guess we could go full blocks then, right? Try some full blocks here. Should we make it go up higher? <laughs> oh, man. See, I can lay out part of a building, but the actual tying it all together is where stuff gets tough for me. It's like, how do we put a roof on this now, and how do we connect it to another part of the build, and, and that kind of thing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I want a tower there. I think I might just put another uh, patio up above there. Hmm. See what this looks like filled in too. This has been bugging me. All right. Yeah, that's that's okay. We can probably do something else with that. 
So the library sign is going to go like up there. Um, I did experiment with making some pillars to sort of rest it on. I put the I put two pillars here, two by two pillars. Didn't really look as good as I hoped, so I don't know what I'll do about that. Um, actually, what we could do if we make this go up a little bit, we'll have a patio. And then we can create a wall, if you follow my mouse, kind of over here that connects to this. And against that wall we can put our villager and his, his little shop for up here. And that'll be good, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll build like a little raised section. Because we got to go over top that for sure. So it's got to be raised. Ooh, and then we can do stairs. Kind of like that. Hmm. Or we might just do it like that. <laughs> that works. Uh, yeah, so I did some more shaping up here. Tried to move things along. With this roof, you know what I'm going to do? I don't really know how to make peaked roofs, you know, like roofs that are slanted and all that, especially on a building this size. I have not a clue. So instead, we're going to keep it mostly flat like this. And we still need a reed farm for this library to get paper. We're going to put that on the roof. We need a wheat farm uh, for cows to get leather for the books. Um, that kind of thing. So we'll put the, that stuff on the roof. And I, I was also considering having an eats road that comes up to here. And maybe we'll make that dock on the roof somewhere. And if I do that kind of thing, I think I can fill most of the space that I need to. Uh, on the roof without actually having to make a roof. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think that's what we'll do. I tried these rails. They don't work. I don't like them. Um, like instead of doing that. So I think we'll do the cobble ones uh, like we were, or at least try that. Uh, I went back and I got a whole bunch of this decorative kind of stuff. So maybe we can dress this place up a little bit. Uh, these by the stairs here for sure I want to put something and I thought it would look good to have a like a little bush you know just uh, a log and two leaf leaf blocks both sides oh. mm, I'm not gonna be able to place that unless I do that okay now we gotta go back up I did work on the inside a little. Like I'm, I guess what I'm doing on the inside is just kind of shaping it. So we'll have a half slab floor like this. This this wood block stuff is just placeholder, so that I know the shape of the building, and then after that we can choose different colors of wood or different uh, blocks. You know where it's at. I just want to know that where I'm going with this. Make sure I can shape it properly before. I decide on how the outside's gonna look, you know. Because if we just focus on the outside, the inside is gonna look really bad. <laughs> so, okay, that's kind of cool. So we'll have that. Then up here, the place I'm gonna put the villager little shop, like the cookie shop or whatever, is over here. And I don't think we need to get too fancy with it. Uh, just like a little counter, wood counter, and have a trap door in there somewhere. If I guess the thing is, a villager can jump over that still, right? So we'll have to lower this half a block so it'll look like. Well, then he might not look over the counter properly. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. <laughs> we'll see what it's like and we can change it later if we don't like it. But yeah, we'll lower that half a block. And then, oh man. Go down, go up, go down, go up, over and over. Okay. Yeah, that, and like uh, on the outside of this window, I put the wood there just so we know how much space that's going to take. Uh, also, yeah, with this what I would like is a l little overhang. Maybe we'll take that out, put that there. 
see what this looks like. Yeah, we'll have like fences that go up and then these will go to just like a covering for over top the villager so he's not in the rain or something like that. Um, could make it out of wood or we could do colored wool. Ooh, you see that? <laughs> Skills. Yeah. Um. <laughs> ah, I fell again. Okay, nuts to it. <laughs> I think we're about done here for today. Uh, we'll have to do this library in little steps like this because it's such a big project. And I am very finicky about details. Uh, and it takes me forever to get stuff done. Uh, oh, you know what I did want to try? One last thing before we're done here. Uh, let's... I wanted to try grow a tree. Well, actually, no. I wanted to make like a, f a pot for the tree. If we can. Oop. What would that look like? I guess... No, that's not going to work. Hmm... How do you make a pot for a tree without it being too big? Like if we do this. Oop. It's a pretty big pot. And it doesn't even connect to the ground. Hmm. Okay. Well, what we'll do, we'll just have a soil block like that. We'll put our tree on it. We'll grow it. Hopefully we'll get a good tree. Well, <laughs> a tree. And then we could put the brick around here. Maybe. That'll look okay. And it is extremely dark. Man. See, if we, that's another re reason I want to put the tables up here, because we'll be able to hide some lights on that, and it'll get some lighting around the place, because otherwise it's going to be so dark. Yeah, we could do that. Let's just go down. Something like that would be good. Maybe move it a little bit further away from the rail, though. Uh-huh. Anyway, that's all we'll do for over here for today. Let's head on over... Uh, I made some progress with Wilson, so we'll go check out my new plan with that. Yeah, I don't know if I showed this last episode, but I did finish uh, the stairs to get in and out of the cave anyway, our new entrance, which is very nice, very, very much needed. <laughs> I'm going to use this a lot, I think. Uh, I still want to do some terraforming outside here, and I've always wanted to build a bridge to go across this river, so we might do that at some point too. Uh, but i got to finish up the walls and do a ceiling in here, and something at this level too. Uh, something cool, hopefully. But yeah, Wilson. Let's go visit Wilson, our our sad and lonely pet that's <laughs> that's not alive. He's waiting for us to give him a brain. Our poor guy here. Um, so a little while ago, I posed that problem. I don't know if you guys remember it, but I was having some trouble figuring out where to go from where we're at now with Wilson. Uh, sort of a redstone problem and I posted that hoping <laughs> I was going to get the answer from somebody like somebody was going to tell me how to do it in a 3 by 5 area uh, using some comparator trick I hadn't thought of and it was going to be amazing but no that never happened it's just it's a complicated problem with no good solution from what I can tell because uh, what I got to do, let's go back up to our problem here, is I got to do some calculations in the game, basically, like real number calculations converted to redstone, which is possible in the game. It's definitely possible. But the problem is making it not gigantic <laughs> is one issue. Uh, the other issue is making it so there's not a ton of redstone running all the time that's going to lag my world out and you know making making everything connect together is another challenge because it's sort of a mess back there if you saw like it's it's orderly but there's so many wires all over the place 
Um, but the general suggestion I got from people is I should handle these one at a time instead of trying to convert them all together, which, yeah, I think that is a good, good plan. Um, but still to handle each of these individually, the thing is, like, these numbers, by the way, they represent the number of items I need to flow from one of our variables here. So this is how I'm doing the variables for Wilson, just the hopper hopper combo. And if we want addition or subtraction to it, we power one or the other and an item will flow from here to here or else from here to there, right? Uh, and then we get a different signal length depending on how many items are in, in one of the hoppers, right? The thing is, to make three items flow, for example, we need um, to power the thing for 3.5 ticks per item, so that would be, um, ooh, go brain, 10.5 <laughs> redstone ticks to get negative three, right? Uh, and if we got to build a build a pulse extender for each of these, it's going to get kind of big and messy and laggy, and it's a it's a big problem. Um, but I did think of one way we can simplify it a little bit. I don't know if we're if we got enough figured out to to use this, but it's sort of a better way of doing it. Instead of doing the hopper hopper combo like I was going to. What we can do instead is have a comparator like this, put a block in front, and then redstone comes back to the comparator like that, right? And what this does is it's a way of generating quick pulses in the game very, very easily. Uh, if, like if we do that, nothing really happens, but if we switch this to subtraction mode, uh, the power comes back to the comparator and it does this. It emits a quick pulse, which does like the game. I can feel it already. Uh, but with this, instead of doing long pulses with a hopper hopper combo, we're going to do a dropper dropper combo. Um, one of these is going to be addition, one of these is going to be subtraction. And so, for example, uh, if we power this, ah, it doesn't work, darn it. <laughs> I didn't test it. I thought it was just going to work. Darn it, no! What What do we have to do to make it work? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. No! Still no. Two... Now it's not changing. Darn it! These pulses are too quick. Oh, that worked. Interesting. I thought they fixed that. Is it not sharing, though? Oh, no, it's going. Okay, so we can make items flow very quickly and very precisely if we do a system like this instead uh, and then we only have to power this for like a much shorter time compared to if we do a hopper hopper thing so that'll reduce the, the redstone we need for the build uh, which will be a nice improvement like let's see actually let's just do a quick test here how many items can we get flowing with just a four tick oh Good game. <laughs> no! Ah. Okay, we were right by it. Trying to do some redstone here. Figuring out the problems of the universe here and the thinking creepers wrecking our day. Think I could sleep in time? Oh, he missed. He missed! He doesn't know where I am. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh, these skeletons, man. They're just so annoying. <laughs> Creepers! 
creepers I can handle. That was my fault. I wasn't looking around. Okay, what else didn't we get? I think we got everything. Okay, where were we? Yeah, we're just going to do a quick test here. We're going to pulse this really quick and see how many items flow from here to there with just four ticks on a repeater. Looked like two. Yeah, two. Mm, still not still not super, but we can we can make things smaller that way. So it's like two ticks instead of 3.5. Uh, the downside of doing this though is now we have nine slots instead of five slots like we have with a hopper. So, <laughs> hmm, I think we'll have to use more ender pearls instead of regular items or something. I don't know, but it's just an idea. I think we should use droppers instead. Well, anyways, guys, uh, we're going to have to end the episode here for today. Sort of a shorter one, and I do apologize for that. But not to worry. It's going to be April soon, and I'll have more time then to put into my recordings again and hopefully get back to daily uploads. Uh, and I do want to start some new series, too, coming April, so hopefully that happens. But I picked out three comments today, uh, since it's a bit of a shorter episode. Uh, first one... Hey, Etho, what's your favorite food? Please put this in the next Etho Plays Minecraft, which is th today. <laughs> it's this episode. So, uh, my favorite food, I'm going to have to say... Uh, I hate to be so generic, but I think it's pizza. I think it is pizza, and there's so many choices with pizza. Uh, usually... Usually I like Hawaiian pizza, I guess I would say. Um... I also really like cheesecake, like baked cheesecake, New York style. It's very good, very delicious. Uh, so that might be my favorite dessert. Um, and of course, ribs and and meat. <laughs> meat is very good. Anyway, next question. Etho, what do you think about SimCity? It looks like your kind of game. I would love to see you play it so I can see how it would turn out. SimCity, well, I had SimCity as a kid for a Super Nintendo, and I loved playing that. And then SimCity 2000 came out, and I got that, and it was it was pretty cool, but I was starting to get lost in the game. Then SimCity 3000 came out, and <laughs> I really got lost in the game because there was so much customization, and my cities always died because I didn't know what I was doing. And then I kind of lost interest in the game. I never got SimCity 4. And now SimCity 5 is out, and apparently it's a lot more simple now. I could probably pick it up. It's more of a casual game. Uh, but I've heard terrible, <laughs> terrible things about the game, and I don't really plan on getting it because of that. The whole only being able to play online doesn't sound like it turned out too well. So I think I'll avoid that one. Um... Etho, what happened to the map making series? Did you simply get bored of it? Are you out of ideas? I don't know what you're planning with this map, but you should definitely implement the new scoreboard, maybe as currency. Scoreboard is definitely being used already, and possibly to function with that currency, Bible en enchant, etc., etc. Uh, the map making series I have put on hold for the time being. A lot of people were getting bored of watching me work on this starting platform <laughs> so I stopped with that uh, I'll continue it again once I get stuff done instead of like building it with you watching me build it we're gonna go with uh, I'll show you how it works after it's done S style if I resume it just so people aren't aren't bored with what I'm doing but it is progressing slowly but I am working on it here and there and the ideas are all planned out I just have to do it and it's it's coming along slowly. So hopefully one day I'll get it done. But that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.